The following video will show you how to fit tube tags to sorbent tubes for information handling. Tube tag is a robust radio frequency identification RFID tag that clips securely onto stainless steel or glass tubes and eliminates transcription errors. It allows for a chain of custody through field monitoring and lab analysis. The process is different for metal tubes and glass tubes. In this video you will see tagging of stainless steel sorbent tubes. You will need a stainless steel tube, a tube tag, a tube tag fixing removal tool, a pair of tube tag compatible storage caps, a tag lock tool and a tag scribe connected to a Windows compatible device or an automated Marx thermal desorption system loaded with the MIC software. To begin, slide the tip of the tag removal tool into the tag clip. Be sure to hold the tube tag fixing removal tool with the metal stop facing the inside of the tag. Squeeze the handles of the tool tightly while sliding into position on the non-sampling end of the tube. Note, the metal stop on the tool will prevent the tag from being pushed on too far. Once the metal stop is in contact with the tube, stop squeezing the handles. Your tag is correctly placed. You are now ready to write your tag. To do this, plug your tag scribe into a Windows compatible device or load the tag scribe windows in the MIC software by right clicking on the instruments tile. Launch the tag software and load your tube either into the instrument or onto the tag scribe. In the software, populate the tube number, packing date and adsorbent packing fields and click Write Tag. You are now ready to condition your tube. Once conditioned, place a tag-ready long-term storage cap onto the non-sampling end of the tube and a long-term storage cap on the sampling end. Finger tighten each cap before quarter turning using a tag lock tool. Note, there are two ways to use the tag lock tool. In this direction, you can tighten tag-ready long-term storage caps and in the opposite direction, you can accommodate standard long-term storage caps. If you would like to keep track of sorbent tube status at this point, you can update the sample tube on the tag to conditioned. To save time, you can do this as a batch update on the MIC software. To batch update, load all tubes and run the TD utility tag update method. You can use this method to batch update tube status, number of thermal cycles or clear sampling information from the tags. Your tube is now ready for sampling. For more information visit marks.com